Hey guys, this is Frank, and in this Arma 3 video, I'm going to show you how to retain a player's loadout upon respawn. When they close their arsenal, that is the loadout that they're going to keep when they respawn in the game. So let's get started. All I'm going to do is place down an object that has the arsenal action added to it. This is just a simple one line of code that adds the arsenal to it, allowing any player to access the arsenal from this object. There's different ways you can do it. This is how I'm doing it for testing purposes. Also have a player unit put down. Make sure you have the mission set up for multiplayer. That is important. Make sure you have the respawning and all that shit set up as well, otherwise this will not work. That said, I'm going to save the mission and export. That way I know it's already set up for multiplayer. Let's go into our My Documents folder, basically. You're going to, you're going to locate the Documents folder, go into either Arma 3 or Arma 3 Other Profiles folder, wherever your Arma 3 profile is located. Mine is in the Arma 3 Other Profiles folder. And there's my Arma 3 profile, I'm clicking on that. Your mission is either going to be listed under Missions or MP Missions folder, wherever you had saved it to. In this case, I've saved mine to the Missions folder. We're going to go in there and locate my mission, or my test mission, what I saved it as. And there it is, I'm in my test mission here. And I have two script files already created that I had put in here. If you don't know how to create script files, I have a video on how to do that. But one script file is the initplayerlocal.sqf, which is what will add the event handler for the arsenal and then the on player respawn which reapplies the player's loadout when they respawn pretty simple going into the init player local.sqf here's the code and I'll explain how it works if you're interested in that shit so first of all this right here is not necessary that's just for testing purposes it disables saving so it's just easier for me when I'm testing it's not fucking constantly saving for a single player which I don't do in this game anyway so secondly is the this shit right here this is what you're just gonna have this is the most important part of it though arsenal closed um, Arsenal Close, Arsenal Open, there's different types of script event handlers. In this case, we're using Arsenal Closed, so when the Arsenal is closed, it's going to execute this code using this command. Alright, so what does each line do? I like to define the player variable as a actual variable, because every time you execute the command player, it's going to... The, the command does some extra level, next level shit, like it's finding out if the player's in a vehicle, and what actually is the player identified as. A little bit more complicated than what we need for this case. So just from optimization purposes, I set the player as a variable underscore p. Moving on, whenever the, the player closes his arsenal, it'll play a sound effect, like the 3 d editor save sound effect. I'll also set the player's voice to be no voice. That way he's not calling shit over the radio in the game. You know, contacts and whatnot that it likes to do. Even when you have it fucking disabled, the guy, that guy still does it. It's very annoying, so just at least make his voice turned off. Additionally, this is where we save the player's loadout. Whatever loadout he has when we close that loadout, or the arsenal, that's the loadout he keeps. And right here, this is where we, we display text over the screen when he closes his arsenal, letting him know that the loadout has been saved. This is actually the text that appears. The rest of this shit is just so it works properly. And lastly, is titled Fade Out 8. That basically just says over 8 seconds, make the text fade away. That's all. And that's, the, that's pretty much it. One last script, though, is the onplayer respawn.sqf. Right here, this is where we reapply the loadout. That's it. This is the, var the variable that we saved it as over here. Where's it? Right there. And that's it. And I'll show you how it works. Save the mission, export to multiplayer, play in multiplayer. A pretty generic loadout right now, so I'm just going to load an actual custom one. And I respawn with the loadout that I had when I closed the arsenal, not that shitty MX loadout or whatever the hell I had out. That's it. Hopefully the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, great, like it. If it was not helpful, dislike it, tell me I'm an asshole, I don't give a fuck, I don't care. Rock out.